ba basically 50% of that tree basically dried out due to ambient heat load. It was too close to structure fires. It never really actually caught fire. It was just heat that was going across it and it dried it out, it's what they call desiccation. So we will be cutting out some more of the tree, but it's doing okay. I mean, seriously, I go and check on it just basically every two days and the tree's looking really well. It has big, beautiful leaves on it. Matter of fact, it has fruit, it's fruiting, um, which is great. It has giant seeds all over it. So we don't see more than probably 55% of the tree coming out. So we're looking at more than likely saving 45 to 50% of this tree and keeping that alive. The tree itself will survive. It's just how much of that tree will survive. And the thing is we have to take out sections to make sure it can survive and thrive better. So that's why we went in and cut out what we cut out is we had to, uh, um, it was being attacked by boar beetles. And the, the sooner we get all that dead stuff out, um, we can treat the live section of that tree and keep the boar beetles away from it. So it has two different look, two different perspectives on it right now, globally and and like tourism wise. Oh, it's doing great. I mean, you know, it's it's awesome. It's a great tree. You talk to the locals, and we want to talk about the ulu trees. The ulu trees are coming back. They're the most important things. The ulu trees are coming back, and we want the ulu trees to come back. We're trying to promote as much ulu as possible, so we can have a shaded breadfruit grove. We need shade, and Lahaina terribly needs shade. 